it was the 88 Seoul Olympics that made Korea realize that tennis is one of the sports where they truly could compete on an international level. And so the level of attention and coaching has gone up very much so since then. In fact, one the biggest sponsor here is Kia Motors of Korea. There's so much heat from Agassi there on the pass. Lee does well to, to come in and take this ball, go back behind Agassi, but he's there waiting, just rips it down low. What a big deal tennis has become in Asia. 67 broadcasters and journalists from Japan alone, 11 from China. Korea's got three, but that doesn't count all of the Aussie reporters who are filing this story today. The year end, the men's tour ending in Shanghai was an incredible success back in December. 10,000 seat arena packed every single session. Not to mention, Mayor, all the interest in Parado and Shri from mm -hmm. Thailand. Well, that's just scary. I mean, we saw this serve give Agassi a little trouble in his opening round, the body serve. Andre able to just move slightly out of the way of it and give himself a set point. Grand Slam of Asia, as they promote it here in Australia. Andre Agassi is very much in control. I'm better now because I'm a better athlete now. I'm stronger now, I'm fitter now. Every day you gotta go out there and prove it. As you get older, you start realizing that these aren't just weeks playing tennis, these are weeks of your life. It's the greatest thing, being a father. It's a phenomenal discovery every day. Hopefully I always enjoy the game, but in 10 years I'll be caught up in a hectic day trying to make sure the kids are picked up from school on time. <laughs> Changing priorities, back with Jim Courier on the terrace. It's really almost unheard of in tennis or any other sport to get better after you're 29 than you are before 29, but Andre's done that. Well, and he'll tell you, he's taken time off in his career and he's saved some time for later, and he's, he's definitely paying off with that right now. Cruising, cruising through his first two sets. Huge showcase TV set out there. Six love in the second set. 49 minutes for Agassi to get one set away from round three. Well, we talked about uh, the troubles of the few of the top seeds that we've seen early here with Serena, with Leighton Hewitt, with Capriati, and Agassi certainly sending a message to the rest of the field that uh, he's in prime condition right now, the way he's striking the ball. The only worry for Andre is if he's playing too good too soon at this point. He doesn't look worried. No, he <laughs> certainly doesn't. And Patrick, um, for Andre Agassi, if he can dispense with his first week as, it, as efficiently as possible, it'll set him up for a big week too. And that's what he knows to do these days. He'll be 33 years old in just a couple of months. And Tyke Lee, I, I, if you have to pick to one, if you have to point to one part of his game that needs improvement after watching him struggle with Agassi, it's his serve and it's coming up again. Live coverage, second round, the Australian Open. Welcome everyone, day three, Cliff Drysdale here. Patrick McEnroe, Mary Carrillo. This is young Tyke Lee, Korea, and Andre Agassi, the USA, the number two seed in the championship. We're in the third set, two sets to Agassi. He started out slowly, said he was nervous in the early stages of his first match. 
but uh, having got over that hump and he started out this juggernaut is rolling well, he lost the first seven points of this match and uh, then never looked back from there oh. 13 straight games since then Quiet one, Lindsay Davenport of the USA. Later, live coverage. Tulia Ganova is her opponent today. That's later today. They will be playing on the Vodafone Arena. Conditions on the Rod Laver Arena right now, just perfect. The Porsche radar gun, that last serve, 86. Not enough juice on that, but uh, very little wind inside this court. Temperature is pretty mild. And that's just making Agassi just chomp all over Lee's serve. Knowing how hot it can be and probably will be before this thing is over, this is very, very pleasant weather to play in. He's just got no plan anymore, does he? Yeah. No, he's been beaten down mentally. Yeah. Plus, Agassi, of course, is in cruise control. That, uh, that doesn't help Lee's chances any. Uh, at least Lee knows what Agassi's doing, though. Agassi's going to the backhand, his better shot a lot, getting some sliced backhands from him, finding the forehand side, and Lee knows he's just got to go for any forehand he gets. <laughs> Only his third ace for Lee. Hundred and ten miles per hour that one, not that much gas. Had to be perfectly placed and it was. Got it. And Agassi's about a foot inside the baseline, and with each successive swing, Lee is being pushed further and further back. Look at him, he's a, a two feet behind the baseline. Look where Agassi is, well inside the baseline and just catching the sideline. Shot spot showing that one right on. Deuce. He's there and so is Lee. Game point for the Korean. This is a big moment in the match. <laughs> he could get number two. He could double his score. Hasn't happened for a while, and Lee got away with a pretty miserable approach shot. Showing some good feel around the net. Oh, 
got it. What a shot there. Second time in three points that Agassi has found that line. That's that's just scary. I mean, from that position, Mary, where <laughs> Agassi was to put that ball there on the far other side of the court. Great idea. Yeah, great idea. Not too many that I can think of that can pull that off and make it look like it. It's exactly what he meant to do. Problem for Lee is he's got to try to figure on a way to extricate himself from this, and it's not entirely up to him. Agassi just keeps pounding away, doesn't miss anything. Nine errors from Agassi in the leading into this third set, 26 from his opponent. seen much of it. Well, he's going for a lot more winners than Agassi. Agassi's got, again, nine errors against 19 winners. I mean, he doesn't go for this kind of stuff. He doesn't need to. What he does more than anything is press his opponents so much that they make the errors. Yeah, that's why when you say, Mary, he's got 26 unforced errors, Lee, I mean, let's be honest, most of those are forced. That's right. forced into trying to hit air winners. Otherwise, you just play points like that. It's just a barrage. And Agassi not letting Lee breathe for a moment. Credit Brad Gilbert for changing Agassi's mindset so well, because Agassi used to be the splashy shot maker. He used to be the one who'd go for goofy winners. And sometimes they were brilliant, and sometimes they weren't. Another break point saved by Lee. But when Agassi was young, he really wasn't fit enough to play this kind of physical match. He, he really felt he was slight. He was 145 pounds. He felt like he had to go for a lot of his shots, and he wanted to go for them. Yeah, as his personality has changed, so has his game. Uh, become more thoughtful, more mature, more methodical in his approach to his training, to his fitness, to the way he plays this game. Tenth break point. I love listening to him say things like, you know, these aren't just weeks of my career, they're weeks of my life. Right. And he really thinks yeah. of things like that. That's how he sees it. Not too many guys in locker rooms think about the quality of their life, just their sport, their game. Uh, Another advantage for Agassi, a break point, his uh, 11th. Look at this. I mean, Andre Agassi has, has really kicked this guy off the curb. I mean, he's trying to hit from the street now. Body blows. 
I heard you say that so many times, Patrick, and take delighted in, in a way, but it's shame. It's the hapless young Tyke Lee now who said that he, he would have, if he'd had his brothers, been a soccer player, but there's no soccer team at his school. Lee winning his first title just this past week in Sydney. Tigers has won 54 overall. Chris Fowler and Courier, Jim, we're talking uh, about how very few athletes get better after 29, but in fact, four of Andre's seven mm -hmm. Grand Slam titles came after he was 29. Wow. Which, which is the point that we're making about him, and it's, it's an excellent one. The other point that Jim made is that uh, for so many years, he he did not perform. It took so much time off. I mean... So what we're saying is if he's this good at 32, yeah. wait till he's like 67, <laughs> 68. Yeah, I remember asking Becker about uh, Agassi's longevity, and he said, oh, well, you know what? I'm, it's not that he's longevity, just that he took so much time off in his career. And he meant taking time off while he was playing. Yes. And only in an individual sport are you allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. You can't be an NBA player. And by the way, Lee loves the NBA. But you can't do. You can't say to your coach, you know what? Got some problems I got to work on at home. Right. You know. I'll yeah. see you in six months. Yeah. Serves Salling on Agassi. Second double gives Lee a break point. Trying to stop this run. Run of 14 straight games, but not going to get it there. Quick action from Agassi. Explodes right up into the ball. Shot spot right on the line. Deuce. This is a good display in and of itself. It also sends a message to the rest of the field here at Melbourne Park. Agassi at least co-favorite with Leighton Hewitt. Again, just yo-yoing Lee. Sets to none. He's having no trouble with young Tyke Lee in the career. Australia is a country that hosts the first slam of the year. Australia is the country that hosts the first Grand Slam of the year. This country of kangaroos and great tennis players. The top seed here is an Australian, Leighton Hewitt. Two sets to Agassi here as he takes on young Tyke Lee, the Korean. Three games to love in the second. I should say in the third set. Agassi is just a few games away from a place in the third round now. Cliff, you can work for the Chamber of Commerce here in Australia. It's a country of kangaroos and tennis players.
Well, I've seen Agassi have to hit too many of those one-handed slices, meaning that he's on the move and on the defensive. He's been the one dictating each and every point. for Lee is that he just doesn't have a big weapon. He's a solid player. You can see why he could give guys trouble. He does everything pretty well. He moves well. But if Agassi's playing the way he's playing now, you have to have something to hurt Agassi, whether it's a big first serve, a forehand, a lot of spin on the ball. Agassi does everything that Lee does about 15 times better. Oh, really? I Patrick, there aren't that many players, guys, for really, that, that have games that can just overpower you. Yes, Marat Slopin can, but, you know, he's, he's kind of all over the place mentally. Krajicek, Filipusis, they had big in-your-face games, but they've both been injured so much. It's not like the old days, uh, you know, when Edberg and Becker and McEnroe and all those guys would come right into your face. I mean, right away. And for even... Even Patrick Raptor was always in your face. As he has 40-30 on this serve game of his, he's up four games to love. He's two sets to none. First set, 6-1, six, 6 love. This will be a thorough thrashing. Game point, Agassi. get on the board won the first game of the match did young Tyke Lee and then at Agassi down a few break points Agassi's opening service game Too. He was right there. They could have had a good swing at it. Yeah, I guess he was a game point. Five games to love. So it's six one, six love, five love. Players will change hands and. Andre Agassi in control, obviously. Spectacular stadium complex here built by the Australians to house this first Grand Slam of the year, including that opportunity to watch tennis on the outside large screen. They're looking at Andre Agassi now as he tries to close this match out with the loss of only one game in three sets. 6-1-6-love, six, 5-love six, love, love Agassi. against a guy who just uh, in the warm-up event for this championship in Sydney beat Lepenti, Roddick, Safin, Ferreira. Although Safin didn't play in the match, he pulled out. But it goes for a W. And then Ferreiro. Juan Carlos Ferreiro, the number four seed. He's in this half of the draw. He had a win earlier today over Lisnau, the Frenchman. Straight sets. Looked good, too, hitting the ball big off the ground for Aaron in the opening match here in Laver Arena. Excuse me, the second match opening match is the Anna Kornikova match. And uh, it's just been an old fashioned bludgeoning. Embarrassing. Match points. Oh. 
Very relaxed she looks. to say about that is there uh, you feel bad in a way for Lee because he's such a colorful sort of guy winning his first tournament but Agassi just uh, what a scary performance there by the Punisher <laughs> twenty six winners half that number of errors that speaks to a beautiful display of tennis from Agassi, and here's what's in store for him. Well, Escudé, I would expect to uh, get through that one with Rokas, which will be a, a much different match. Escudé can put a lot of pressure on you, a good first serve, gets to net well. Kofelnikov still out there. Kanyas and Korea, two uh, Argentines, will it, battle. It looks all so Agassi. It no does. How I you mean, look at yeah, it. I mean, uh, it's a pretty good looking draw for Andre to get through to the quarters. Let's go back to the terrace now with Chris and Jim. But thank you. There hasn't been a triple bagel. Love, love, love match here at the Aussie Open since 1966. Would you call this a breadstick and two bagels? Breadstick and a couple of bagels. They, you ever say get beaten that bad? they say I guess he's hungry. I guess he is. <laughs> um, no, haven't got beaten that bad in the Grand Slam, thankfully. I, I just wonder how much Agassi charges for that kind of a lesson. That's ridiculous. Disappointing because obviously the nation of Korea watching him, Taik Lee, and the momentum he carried into this tournament. What does it mean for Agassi? Well, I just think it's an easy day in the office, and now he, he might want to go hit a few more balls. I'm not sure he spent enough time on the court today. All of his opponents are spending a lot of time out there. A lot of rest. Just moving on. Well, Hewitt, a five-set struggle in his first match. Agassi making a strong statement here as he moves on to round three. We'll hear from the Punisher when we continue live from Melbourne after this. Welcome back to Melbourne. Unlikely Andre Agassi's ever had a more dominant match in a Grand Slam. He's with Mal Washington. Chris, thanks. Andre, a very good match for you. Uh, you know, when you're out there, you're playing as, against a guy who just won his first tournament. I mean, what does it feel like to give a guy a beating like that? Well, you know, I tell you what, it started off. I mean, he won the first seven points of the match, held it love, and then was up love 40 on my serve. And uh, if anything, he should take the way I played as a big compliment because I felt I felt a sense of urgency from the first point on. And, and I just was hitting the ball clean today. And some days are just perfect. They just go all your way. Are you able to sense early in a major when things are going pretty good for you and that maybe this is going to be a very good tournament for yourself? Well, I have enough experience to know not to not to think that way because, uh, you know, there's been so many times I've gone into a slam feeling great and it's gone great and other times where I felt great and it hasn't and vice versa. I've come into slams trying to find my game and, it, and then it comes alive at the right time. So for me, it's about playing the best tennis at the right time. And certainly today was uh, a lot more than I needed to do based on the score line. But it felt good to hit the ball that clean. Andre, all the best. Good luck in the next round. Thanks. 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 Cliff. OK, Mal, thanks very much. Well, Jim, at 34 and 3, career record in the Aussie Open, he's obviously going to be confident. But how much can carry over? It's still love, love when you start the next match. Well, well, like he just said, he knows that every day is a different day. And, and today was great tennis from him and, as he said, more than he needed. But he's still got five more matches to go if he wants to get all, all the way. And he's a veteran. He, he knows not to think too much about this. He'll already be focusing on the third round as soon as he gets in the locker room. The next match we're going to feature is the second round match for Lindsay.